and more of the same craziness from this channel, right? Love them knives. I'm going to show you a knife that's pretty inexpensive, budget-oriented, maybe not that glamorous, but maybe interesting to you. I, I would, you know, I, sometimes I buzz through AliExpress because, like, there'll be a Max Ace knife that's not being carried in the U.S. and this or that, whatever, right? And so it's always fascinating um, to cruise through there and see what the hell they're doing. And this, you know, is a Harvey Lynn design, rattlesnake design. You see rattlesnake there? The MK02, ND2. Isn't this, uh, this is a different looking design, isn't it? Mocenary. That's who they are, knives and tools. And I had a couple of titanium ones I did reviews on not that long ago. So I'll put the links to those two down below because kind of fascinating, really, uh, from a design standpoint. And this thing is, it was really inexpensive, too. So that's why part of the reason I bought it, you know. Hold on, hold on, paper, paper, incoming. So, yeah, I saw it on AliExpress. I guess that's what it was. Because, you know, I was looking at Six Leaf, right? Because that's where he's done a lot of his designs. Rattlesnake designs, okay? But this is $39.99. $99.99. And you can choose from this color or this color. Or, this, or yeah, it's the same damn color. Um, but... $39.99. Take an extra 1%. Oh, come on. Don't be so generous. All right. So I had to get it because, yeah, it was it was inexpensive. It took a couple weeks to come, of course, because they, you know, cross the box and pond or whatever. But 420J2, okay, uh, liners, obviously, and then plus linen. I guess this is linen, okay? That's linen, how about my carta? Okay. And mm, so eight and a half, 3.75. So it's like gigantic compared to, and ceramic ball bearings. Well, we'll take it apart. We'll figure that out. Oh, I wonder, what, what have I got the last page? Oh, that's where they actually took it apart and show you. Yeah, ceramic bearings. There's the take apart. Oh, this will be interesting. Well, we'll check the inside of this out when we take it apart. Um... Very inexpensive, yes, especially if you're going to get ceramic uh, bearings and detent ball and all that. But it's a flipper, and we got jimping on the flipper tab. She's a uh, she's good sized girl, and really, that ain't no three millimeter blade stock either. Mm, deep carry can nah, we can't flip it, okay. And yeah, it'd be nice if those were tapered and they were flat to the scale, but they're not. Uh, I guess we could do worse since we're looking at 39 bucks. Um, it's centered. Yeah, no movement there. There's your lockup. Uh, okay, about 30%. No, no play. No play. Oh, well, let me see if it'll do one thing. Uh, one thing that's really important for a knife, that it cuts, okay? And it's supposed to have a D2 blade. Can, do I have a, the analyzer equipment? No, I don't. But I think I, I, I think I tested some of his six-leaf stuff back in the, back in the day. Uh, and it, it was true to form as far as D2 went, so... We got nothing left here, okay? Um, what a mess. We got a mess. That's what we got left. Uh, let me see how this... Yeah, the drop's pretty nice. And I kind of dig that blade design. Is it kind of like a leaf to a degree? Or what is that? Um, and then this, uh, this... See that flipper... It's pretty much, it's not sitting it way up like here. It's letting it make more contact than a lot of flippers. And also, this is, uh, yeah, 
you can feel that and it's it's pretty smooth though so it's not aggressive and I guess you could slide up here if you wanted to all the way up and then you'd have a lot of room back here and you could get up for detail work or whatever like that and then of course as opposed to using the flipper tab you can kick it open like that so you can finger flick it or you can roll it open with your thumb however you want to do that and then you've got contoured micarta scales with a g10 backspacer the pocket clip works pretty well because it comes down then it comes up and it kind of flattens out so it doesn't like stick up and bother your hand when you're when you're holding the knife as far as can i feel that kind of but not much it's it's pretty pretty mellow in there uh so and the ergos are just straightforward right you check this well can i disengage the lock bar and yeah they're not nested liners are they they're right loud and proud so it it gives it a lot of structural toughness there it seems like um so because it seems like nested liners are usually a thinner gauge you know but this is going to be pretty pretty solid for a liner lock okay and so it feels like it's locked up pretty good um and then you've got this you can see through here this is easy to disengage and it's fairly quick over the detent ball and so the flipper tab hits you in the thumb it's already over the detent ball ready to drop you know and so for $39.99 I think that I think they're still charging you shipping I mean you're you're not going to escape without probably 42 43 bucks whatever but all in but still a lot of this stuff out there is 70 something this and that so really i mean if you're at 43 44 bucks all in with everything you're right at send cut pricing a little over ganzo knife pricing i haven't seen much new from ganzo in a long time but so uh and especially with the micarta and really this is a nice consistent color on here and look at the hardware. This doesn't look too bad. I mean, kind of got that machined look there on them. Uh, nothing too uh, fascinating on the pivot. Nothing terribly decorative or anything. And it's, it's a bunch in the hand. So let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, 0. 0.64. Yeah, 16.3 millimeters. That's... That's that's pretty fat in the hand. Um, and we're four millimeter blade stock at 0.15. Okay, so yes, we are. Let's see how heavy this is. What do you think? 140 something grams? What do we got ounces? 4.77 ounces. 135 grams. Well, I guess like 140 something. I was off by a few grams, but not much. Okay. So, no, it's under five ounces. Wow. Okay. Not bad, considering uh, it's a pretty good-sized knife. Um, and that was another reason I got it, because I thought this was interesting from that standpoint. I mean, it seems like everything is like three-inch, three-and-a-quarter or under three inch blade up to maybe 3.45 but this one three and three quarter inch like 95 96 millimeters eight and a half inches overall length at 21 and a half centimeters so but it's fat in the hand this would be one that you could just go out and who gives it crap right i mean nice flat grind here you could do some piercing, slicing, but it, you've got no thumb studs to get in the way of anything. So, um, but it's D2, so it's semi, right? Semi stainless. Uh, so you got to take a little bit of care with it. You know, wipe it down with an oil or, uh, you know, some kind of thing, anti-corrosion uh, stuff here and there, you know. 
But otherwise, you should be good to go. And like I was saying, it's a straight shot here on the Ergos. Mm, that's good. Uh, reverse grip. I just... You know, I just thought it's kind of fun to throw these in every once in a while, especially rattlesnake designs, because six leaf, they're carried by White Mountain Knives, okay? So they're not unknown, and they do a lot of different models, and Harvey Lynn Rattlesnake Designs is really the guy with that. And so to see him on this that piqued my interest and you know really you look at the design flow blade to handle really good flows into the bolster no problem nice nice hole there for finger flicking not a problem detent um it's to me it's appropriate i don't know that i wanted any tougher than that but no you can you can kick it out and the blade's pretty big and pretty heavy, too, so that helps get that blade out of there. But, I mean, you know, normal stuff you're doing. <laughs> no? Get out of there. Okay, now I got it. So, nah, I think it's okay. It's okay. It could be tougher if you want it to be, but then the finger flicking might be more difficult. Uh, so, yeah, I'm all in all... I'm good with it. This is one of those things you might consider it if you want. I don't know. You're going to have to go look. And I, I don't know if I can point you to a good site to get this one. That's the problem with this brand. But, you know, AliExpress and type in Mocenary and MK02 or just Mocenary knives, whatever. And, uh, yeah, you might give them a shot. I mean, they've got some titanium models and some others, too. Um, but I just thought it was fascinating. And there's so many no-name brands out there that might become a name name. You never know, right? And with this kind of workmanship, it seems okay. I, You know, I'm, I look them over to say, you know, it used to be years ago when the cheapies came out of Amazon or China or Ollie. You know, they'd be like really sharp, like you could almost cut yourself on these corners. But this is... They're smooth, it's seamless, it looks like it's uh, skeletonized on the liner, this and that, ceramic bearings, and then it becomes a blur, doesn't it? Because you go, so how is this any different than knives that are twice as expensive? And that's a question you're going to have to answer for yourself, because I don't know the answer to that, because it seems just as good to me. Put down the blue mat and let's get my let's get my drivers. Let's see what I'm gonna need. Well, uh, which way is this gonna kick out? Is that gonna move? That seems pretty stuck. This does not though. So uh, you can, like Snoop Dogg says, you can take it easy, or you can make it easy. And I'll go with the easy way, especially since now I don't have to take the pocket clip. Okay, those look like the same size, and they're all number eights on the body. Is that embarrassing enough for $39? Along with the fact that it's ceramic bearings, or they're saying that, and the picture showed that. And there's your micarta. And is there anything wrong with that? Shit, no. Okay, any internal screws? Nope. We'll be able to pull this liner off. Hell if I know. Uh, probably ain't going to come easy. Okay. Woo. Didn't want to let go of that pivot. There's the liner. Presentation micarta, presentation liner. Looks like ceramics all the way through here. And do you want to? It doesn't want to let go of that pivot. Woo. Come on, out of there. Okay. And this didn't want to come out either. 
but it's out now. So is the little stop pin. And yeah, okay. But that's what she looks like. Now let's take a look at this. MK02, Rattlesnake, uh, D2. Yeah, got all the information on the inside. And then they put the information on the outside. So I guess they could have left this off since it was all on the inside or they didn't need to put it on the inside because it was all on the outside, one or the other. But there she be. And let's see if we got this thing. Oh, yeah, she dropping good now. Oh, yeah. A lot better than she was, that's for sure. Okay. Free and easy. Centered right up. And back. Ooh. Yeah. She's uh, frisky now. MK02. Where's the MK01? 03. Where are they? Come on, Harvey. Let's get some rattlesnakes in here. I like these rattlesnake designs. I think he does a really good job. So I'll leave you to it. Uh, at least this is another unusual, different kind of thing that maybe will appeal to you. And for the money, there's nothing in it, you know. So uh, maybe it's worth the shot. I think definitely so. Ooh, yeah. Okay. You know what we do. We love them knives. So you guys stay sharp.